Tanya, the team of scientists researching and studying this vaccine say all of the evidence so far in the study is encouraging that the vaccine could prevent and limit the spread of the infection of, the, of COVID-19. They also say that not a lot of medical trials ever even make it to this phase three in the first place. With this pandemic that has hit and has been so devastating for so many people, it is uh, empowering to be part of the solution. Dr. Maggie Powers Fletcher with the UC College of Medicine is a co-investigator on the COVID-19 vaccine trial in the works at UC Health. Scientists in Massachusetts developed the vaccine she's been studying, which she says shows a lot of promise. A lot of studies don't make it this far because of earlier data, so that's why we're so optimistic is because the data has been looking good. I mean, we're all in it together, like trying to help get things back open and everybody get back to as normal as possible. Jarrell Marshall from Cincinnati became the first person locally to get a dose in phase three of the vaccine trial Tuesday. For him, it's a small gesture to hopefully get us past the pandemic faster. I mean, I did some type of little part, right? I didn't serve in the military or do anything like that. And so, you know, doing something small like this, a little bit of my time, um, you know, for the greater good is, is awesome. UC and UC Health's vaccine trial is trying to figure out if the dose prevents COVID-19 infection, and if so, how long it lasts, if it gets patients to produce antibodies, and if it can prevent severe disease. This trial is part of a two-year study, so researchers acknowledge it will still take time to get answers, but they think those answers could come sooner rather than later. Everyone's goal, of course, is that the data is so promising early on as we're looking and, and seeing it, that we could get an answer or a solution faster than that. And so I think everyone is hopeful. The scientists at uh, UC Health are still looking for patients to participate in this study. They're looking to get about 500 people involved here locally. Reporting live at UC Health's Clifton campus, Josh Bazan, WCPO 9 News.